Good evening, Hyperspinners. Today I had a request to talk through Fightcade, so get ready. All right, guys, so uh, Fightcade, uh, what this is, is it allows you to play your MAME games online, uh, so you can, you know, fight me in Street Fighter 2, uh, you know, from across the world here, so it's simply awesome, and, uh, uh, you know, I'll catch you online, so uh, let's go ahead and get this thing started here, so uh, first things first, we're going to go to fightcade.com slash pound register and all you you need is a username so create whatever username you need a password and then your email address you'll hit register you'll get a nice little uh, welcome email and uh, you'll verify that email exists and you're set up so that's all there is to it guys uh, next we're gonna go to download uh, which is here and I'm just gonna go to the different tab here because I've already got it open and you're gonna click your uh, iOS uh, so I would click uh, Windows and that would create a zip file and what you're gonna want to do is under your hyperspin root folder emulators you're gonna create a folder for Fightcade and you're going to unzip that file that you just uh, downloaded and you'll drop it in here and that's that's really it guys so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, open up Fightcade and then we'll talk through uh, setting this up into uh, Hyperspin. So let's see here, Fightcade. And it's gonna ask you to log in by default and you'll use that username and password that you just uh, created and you'll have save password here so it's easier to uh, log in here. So I'm gonna hit login and you're gonna notice off to the left here are the list of games that you have. The middle here is going to be um, if someone challenges you to a game, you'll see it uh, accept or decline here. You'll have to physically press one of the links to do that. Uh, off to the right here are all the competitors that are playing this game. The ones that are not fighting are the ones that uh, are just waiting for someone to challenge them. And uh, there you go. So you can see a, uh, a challenge uh, has been sent to me. And if I wanted to challenge one of these guys, I would just click it and they would see a similar uh, request here. If you wanted to spectate uh, anyone that's playing, you would see both of the uh, competitors uh, displayed here. And you would just click the name and it would pop open up a new window here. So uh, one thing that I would like to mention is before you actually compete in any of these games, you're going to want to set up the controllers. So just uh, a rule of thumb uh, pull up one of these games and uh, basically play yourself just uh, you know double click the the game and uh, then click your name here and that will uh, open up your game and you'll have to set up the controls so let's go ahead and get this thing configured here it's pretty simple here we're gonna go to settings up here and then we're going to locate the game folder and by default, you will find the uh, game folder is in the Fightcade uh, folder. And it doesn't work with all main games, but but you could... Here, I'm going to put myself on uh, a way here. So, basically, you can uh, point your uh, game folder to your main folder where uh, all your games are at or you can basically copy those uh, main names or games uh, in your Fightcade folder under uh, the ROMs here. So uh, that's really all you gotta do to get this thing set up other than setting up the controls. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, open up uh, the configures for uh, the one game. So I'm gonna put myself back from away from keyboard and then I'm gonna go ahead and click Ninja to be seen. And once that happens, I'm going to uh, 
basically get a window that shows up just behind it. And I'm, so essentially you're looking at a game and what we gotta do is just change the controls here. So the controls, um, you're gonna see under game, map game inputs, and then you're just gonna map all of your buttons here. And you'll just double click, you'll change the, uh, the keyboard, and you'll hit okay. So once you've done that, then you simply just close out of the game and then you uh, challenge someone. So uh, it's pretty easy. Um, it is kind of annoying to uh, have to set up your controls for each game, uh, but you know, I just showed you that and that took just a second or two. So uh, once you've done it once, you don't have to do it again. And uh, yeah, you can kind of mess with uh, some shaders if you'd like uh, under the video settings, uh, also the sizing. Uh, there's a lot of different options here. Um, I, I really have not fooled too much around with the actual picture of any of it. Um, you know, I just update the uh, controls, controller settings and uh, you'll be on your way. So uh, that's it, guys, in terms of the setup. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, go game, uh, exit, and I'm back to the dashboard here. And since that is uh, uh, Street Fighter 2 there, Championship Edition, I can essentially go in and challenge any of these guys uh, here and uh, basically fight them in real time. So um, if people challenge you or if I were to challenge someone else, I would double click that name and then they would get that message with the uh, prompt of the uh, challenging um, memo and they would have to accept it to actually start that game. So. If you don't like uh, all the uh, the noise and such, uh, you can modify the challenge sounds. There's a uh, basically you can mute it or you know change that sound if you'd like. Uh, but that's all there is to it in Fightcade itself. So I'm going to go ahead and close this out because that's all there is to it. And uh, we're going to get this thing set up in Hyperspin real quick. So what we're going to do is open up HyperHQ. You're going to go to main menu wizard and you are going to type in uh, Fightcade. Uh, just capital F and uh, capital C. And uh, you, uh, what's important here is when it gives you the option to add the wheel, you're going to select the bottom um, button, which is talking about launching it from an executable. Since this does not have a sub wheel by any means, uh, you won't be selecting that. So click uh, running as an executable. Uh, next, you're going to go back to wheel settings and you're going to go find uh, Fightcade. And I should have prepped this uh, for a second ago, but we're going to go find Fightcade here. All right, sorry guys. Uh, I, get, I went ahead and found Fightcade under wheel settings. And what you're going to want to do is select executable as normal. The executable is going to be fightcade.exe uh, in the path that you had uh, installed it. And then the command line is your fightcade.exe path in quotation marks. I've got win state set to max. And we're going to move on to uh, wheel. There's nothing there because this is an executable file. Navigation and themes, same thing. Video, same thing. Sound and special art is all the same thing. So. That's really all you gotta do, guys. Um, you have set up Fightcade in HyperHQ. You've downloaded the file, and uh, you basically launch Fightcade, and you um, are just setting up the controls. And then uh, uh, once you're done with that, you are competing with uh, a person uh, across the world. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, launch Hyperspin so you can see the theme that I've got set up. Um, I do have instructions at the top of the theme, uh, just in case I ever forget. So this theme was created by Retro Humanoid. Uh, all I did was modify it uh, ever so slightly to have instructions at the very top of the screen to just tell you what to do. So you can see first you're going to be selecting the game and then you're going to click your name to launch and you're going to set up those controls and then close the game and then choose your competitor. So 
uh hope to see you online and uh best of luck to you um until next time guys